let us put ourselves in the holy presence of our Lord. Our dearest Heavenly Father, thank you for making all things possible. We are grateful for all the blessings you are pouring upon each one of us, despite the challenges we are all currently facing. Thank you for blessing us today with the wonderful opportunity to meet virtually and learn together in the awesomely exciting webinar. May your blessings of wisdom and guidance be upon us, all through the sharing and impartation of knowledge and skills by our resource speakers, facilitators, and moderators. May all of us learn together, upgrade our competencies, and capacitate us to be the help in the development of our learners' lives and communities in the spirit of your love and generosity. May we now humbly commit every part of this webinar to you, as we all bring you the glory, honor, and praises for your kingdom and holy name's sake. All this we pray in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Philippine College of Physicians through the Committee on Media Communication and Health Forum presents its bi-monthly lay forum to promote the advocacies and mission of the college and its component and affiliate societies. An avenue of accurate and up-to-date conversations with the media and the general public with timely and diverse topics covering vital public health and medical information straight from the experts in a platform that is convenient accessible and highly engaging welcome to the PCP Health Forum to today's to today's Philippine College of Physicians I am Health Forum. I am Dr. Katuhino, the moderator for today's session. So I would like to welcome all the viewers that are watching through our Zoom platform, through our Facebook Live and YouTube platform. Welcome, welcome, my fellow PCP colleagues. 
uh, my fellow healthcare professionals, our very supportive media partners, and our general viewers who are watching from um, either here in Zoom or in our YouTube platform or in Facebook Live, welcome to this Health Forum. So we are almost at the end of the National Lung Month. So again, August is actually uh, celebrated as National Lung Month. And we would like to cap it off with one important topic about um, our lungs, which is um, smoking cessation and vaping. So with another collaboration of the PCP Committee on Media Communications with the Philippine College of Chess Physicians, we have our health forum entitled Maginhawang Paghinga at Magandang Kalusugan, Paninigarilyo at Vaping ay Itigil at Iwasan. So this will be a lay forum on smoking cessation and vaping, wherein vaping is equally dangerous as smoking. So let's give a small background about um, smoking. No? Okay, so tobacco smoking or in general, tobacco kills more than 8 million people each year, which includes 1.3 million non-smokers who ex are exposed to secondhand smoke. There are around 1.3 billion tobacco users around the world. And according to the WHO, 80% of the population came from low to middle income countries such as the Philippines. According naman to the Philippine Global Adult Tobacco Survey in 2021, among all adults that are 15 and above, 19.5% of Filipinos were current tobacco users. And that around 112,000 Filipinos die each year to tobacco-related diseases. So it's very important, no, not just in our country but in the world, that we know about um, this condition uh, that affects our health, okay? This uh, tobacco. Now, tobacco uh, comes from all forms. It could be smoked. And then there are newer um, devices, such as yung mga tobacco heated products, such as the e-cigarettes. And the electronic nicotine devices or non-nicotine devices, uh, commonly known as vaping, that are now very popular to the younger generation. But um, they do uh, what we don't, um, sometimes the younger generation doesn't know is that um, these um, devices, even if they have, they say they have uh, lesser nicotine products, they still have other aerosols or toxic chemicals that could be hazardous to our health. So to give us a proper introduction or a welcome for this health forum on smoking cessation and um, vaping, I would like to welcome um, Dr. Arnelia Masendo. She is the incumbent member of the Board of Regents of the Philippine College of Physicians to give us a welcome message for this health forum. Thank you, Anna. Good morning, everyone. It's so inspiring to see you all here this Tuesday morning after a long weekend, eager to learn new things for our patients. I would like to extend a special welcome to our guest speaker, a past president of both PCP and PCCP, and is a friend who is very active in her advocacy on smoking cessation and vaping. Our activity this morning, as mentioned, the Philippine College of Physicians Internal Medicine Health Forum is one of the activities of the PCP Committee on Media Communications. And for today, this is done in collaboration with the Philippine College of Physicians in celebration of the National Lung Month. Thank you to all the committee members for this activity. Our topic for today will tell us the effects or the damages to our lungs caused by both smoking and vaping. What we do and what we do not know will be discussed to us by our esteemed speaker. So I hope that we will all learn from this activity, from the talk and discussions this morning, and that later we will be able to apply this to our patients when we go back to our clinic. So once again, welcome everyone and good morning. 
Thank you, Dr. Ramazenda, for your welcome remarks. So again, this is a very timely topic in our country as well as the world. And um, now, before we start our lecture proper or our session proper, I would just like to remind everyone of the etiquette for this webinar and health forum. So if you have any questions, you may type them in the Q&A chat box in our Zoom platform or in our uh, webinar chat box in the Zoom platform or yung comment section sa YouTube. Um, live or yung Facebook live so that later on after the lecture proper we can answer them in the Q&A portion. No? So without further ado, I would like to introduce our very renowned and multifaceted speaker. Our speaker for today will be our expert, uh, our expert research speaker for today is none other than Dr. Maria Encarnita Limpin. She is the medical specialist for uh, in the Department of Education, Training and Research at the Philippine Heart Center. She's also the chair of the Department of Medicine at the Mary Johnson Hospital. She is also the executive director on the Action of Smoking and Health or ASH Philippines. And of course, we all know her as our past president of the Philippine College of Physicians, as well as the past president of Philippine College of Chess Physicians. Without further ado, I am very honored to present our uh, resource speaker for today, Dr. Limpin. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Kat, for that uh, very uh, nice introduction. So let me now share my screen. Yeah. Okay. So, can you now see my uh, slides? Yes, Doctor. Uh, we can see it. But... Okay. I'm just trying to figure out. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, so for today, I'd like to be discussing to with you the about the twin epidemic that we have currently, and that is the epidemic of smoking and vaping, but also emphasizing uh, that vaping is equally dangerous as smoking. So um, let me start with uh, telling you about the burden of tobacco use, since we have not really uh, addressed significantly the, uh, the problem of tobacco use. So still, we know that uh, tobacco use remains to be one of the world's largest health problem and that in over the course of the 20th century, it has actually killed already around 100 million people. And uh, if we look at the health burdens of smoking, we have seen that uh, it has now moved from high income to low mid to middle income countries that includes the Philippines. And if we don't do anything about this problem, no, uh, particularly now, no, then we can expect an estimated one billion people could die from tobacco over the twenty first century. Now, uh, this is just to show to you how much of a burden uh, tobacco use is in the country. So this is based from the Global Adult Tobacco Survey. Uh, and you can see the survey has been done for about three times already from 20, 2009, then 2015 and 2021. So overall, we have seen that from 2009 up to 2015, there has been um market reduction no in the prevalence of tobacco use so when we say tobacco use that is any type of use of tobacco so which can be using your cigarette your cigar your sisha even the tobacco chews no so these are all uh, the general overall tobacco use so we see a relative decline of about 19.3% from 2009 and 2015 and in the most recent survey in 2021, we have seen a further decline no, in tobacco use to um, 
uh, the prevalence no getting as low as 19.6 probably isipin ninyo medyo oops maganda na ang naging result no because if you look from 20 from 2009 up to 2021 there is now uh, a 10% about a 10 a uh, 10% percentage point reduction no of uh, the prevalence of tobacco use but if you look at this no tignan natin overall uh, let us look at the current smoking because uh, basically majority of tobacco use in the country remains to be cigarette smoking so just like the total tobacco use um, it is actually also reflected with the oh, the prevalence of current smoking in the country so nakita natin from 2009 to 2015 bumaba from 28.3 to 22.7 and if you look if you translate this into actual figures no of how many uh filipinos remain uh to uh, is currently smoking so makikita natin yung 22.7 percent na yan na prevalence is equivalent to 15.9 million smokers what about in 2021 so it has gone down to a uh, prevalence of 18.5 which is equivalent to 14.4 million smokers so what am I trying to uh what is the message here? No, well, despite the remarkable the market reduction in the smoking prevalence in the country, but you can see that the number of smokers remains to be very high. No, For, there are still 14.4 million smokers, and therefore, ang ibig lang sabihin yan, hindi ko pwede tayong huminto, no, with what we have done right now. Kailangan ituloy pa natin ang ating Kampanya, and that is why we are here no, in PCP as well as kami sa uh, Philippine College of Chess Physicians, we are working very hard to make sure that we are able to bring down uh, ang target to sana natin. Of course, 0% na wala nang maninigarilyo, pero uh, syempre mahirap kong gawin overnight. Therefore, kailangan tuloy-tuloy ang mga efforts para matulungan ho natin ang mga kababayan natin uh, hindi na magsimula sa paninigarilyo o paggamit ng any form of tobacco products at hindi na rin at eventually sa mga nagsisigarilyo pa, huminto na ho sila ng paninigarilyo. And then pagtitignan nun natin, then um, babae lalaki na naninigarilyo of course alam nakikita natin na mas marami talaga ang mga kalalakihan na uh, nag uh, nagsisigarilyo compared sa mga kababaihan but ang gusto nga ho sana natin dito sa mga babae ito no gusto sana natin uh, malaki na no 3.7% uh, maibababa pa natin ito sa zero sana ganun ho yung makita na, namin no uh, kami hong lahat ng mga kasamahan ko sa health sector no uh, we are all one on this no we want to have to attain zero prevalence but we are also realistic na hindi ho natin basta-basta magagawa ito and therefore that is the reason why we continue to advocate for uh effective measures no para mapigilan ho natin ang epidemya na meron ho tayo sa ngayon now, uh, ano naman ho ang effect no sa uh, pag syempre pag mas maraming naninigarilyo, so people will also be continuously exposed to secondhand smoke. So very good example ho, no titingnan ho natin ay yung exposure sa secondhand smoke sa bahay, no? Dito sa mga bahay natin. Bakit ho kami nagfo-focus sa bahay? Because you know, if there is anything na kailangan uh, siguro mangyari, yan ay yung makita natin na ang bawat kabahayan dito sa ating bansa will be smoke free. Huwag na po nating pabayaan kahit ho asawa po natin yan, no, yung padre de familia o kaya isa sa mga anak natin or significant uh, figures of the family ay naninigarilyo. Sana po ay gawin ho nating safe yung ating kabahayan para ho sa ganon yung ating mga kasamahan, mahal natin sa buhay, hindi ho maapektuhan no, ng exposure to secondhand smoke. And then this data no in 20 sa Global Adult Tobacco Survey nakikita ho natin noong 2015 no there is a 35% exposure ng mga 
mga tao sa second hand smoke sa bahay no at nung 2021 naman po ito pong exp uh, exposure to second hand smoke bumaba po sa 21.8% again significant reduction but Again, just like I have said before, ang gusto ko sana nating makita dito ay 0% na exposure to secondhand smoke. I will tell you bakit concern kami sa secondhand smoke mamaya no because studies have shown talagang ito po ay masama din ang epekto no hindi lang po ang panginigarilyo kung hindi ang exposure sa secondhand smoke malaking bagay po ang nagagawa niyan sa ating kalusugan. So uh, sa mga kabataan naman doon sa Global Youth Tobacco Survey we have Uh, sa doon sa uh, survey na ito, so almost uh, parehas kasi 2015 din po ito, 38% exposure to secondhand smoke. Nung pinakalatest na survey sa mga kabataan, 29.3% exposure no nung 2019. So uh, nakita ho natin, just like we doon sa mga sa, uh, survey sa mga Uh, adults no parehas nagpapakita a significant reduction but the exposure remains to be still high and therefore there is a lot of things that we need to do to make sure na less and less Filipinos if not zero ang exposure sa secondhand smoke and itong pagbaba na ito also highlights no uh, the effectiveness of a no smoking policy kaya nga po importante na sa ating mga kabahaya no let us make sure na ang mga mahal natin sa buhay ay hindi ho ma-expose sa mga harmful, dangerous, dreaded effects of uh, exposure to secondhand smoke. Huwag ho tayong mag mag uh, wag ho nating hayaan na magsigarilyo sila sa loob na ating kabahayan. Pwede naman ho nilang gawin yung pagsisigarilyo, gawin ho nila doon sa labas at hindi po dapat doon lamang sa labas ng uh, paglabas lang ng pintuan. Kailangan medyo malayo. Alam naman ho natin na kung gaano kabilis no na kayang-kayang Um, dalhin ng hangin no ang usok na yan papunta sa loob ng ating kabahayan so uh, if we will uh, if we will just you know tell yung mga smokers to smoke outside at saka medyo malayo malayo ho doon sa pintuan para ho maiwasan din natin ang pagpasok ng usok sa loob ng ating kabahayan Now, uh, ito pong pinapakita ko sa inyo, this is from the Global Burden of Disease Study noong 2017 na published in The Lancet. Kasama po dito, maraming class, bansa ang ginawa ng, uh, ng uh, study na ito. Kasama po ang Pilipinas. And here you will be able to see no, the burden of tobacco use. So, exposure to secondhand smoke, mga namatay is more than 20,000 no? na ang namatay noong 2017 lang, just in one year. And then, yung namatay sa paninigarilyo, directong paninigarilyo, so we, so we have more than 93. So, this highlights the fact na uh, you, don't, you don't have to smoke to die from tobacco use. Yun exposure po, mere exposure to secondhand smoke can also kill us. No? So importante po na kaya kanina ko pa hinaharp no? the importance of having a smoke-free policy sa ating mga kabahayan and in different public places. No? So overall, pag tinignan ho natin ang mga namatay na Pilipino noong 2017 dahil lang po sa paggamit ng ng tabako at pati na rin po yung exposure sa secondhand smoke is oh, more than 115,000 deaths no It, you, that is actually translated to 315 deaths per day or 13 deaths per hour so uh, tayo po ay gumising nung uh, maaaring tayo po ay gumising na nung 7 o'clock no magmula 7 o'clock Uh, ngayon po ay 10 o'clock na so ibig sabihin po niyan mga 39 na po ang namatay na Pilipino magmula nung tayo ay gumising from 7 o'clock up to 10 o'clock this morning. So ganyan po kadami ang namamatay no sa bawat araw sa bawat oras dahil lang po sa sa paggamit ng tabako. Now, this is just to show to you ano naman po. It's not just I am talking here about uh, the impact 
the effect no on health but there are also economic consequences ng uh, tobacco at yan po dito pinapakita ko po yung economic burden from just for tobacco related diseases no at ito pong pag-aaral na ito ginawa noong 2015 sa pangunguna po ni Dr. Tony Dance kasama po si Dr. Uh, uh, I think uh, Fahutrao no um so sila po yung mga Uh, naggawa po ng study na ito and you can see here now just from the four related tobacco related diseases no uh, looking at healthcare costs, the productivity losses and also the loss from premature death kasi like right now marami ho akong na, na, marami na ho kaming nakikita nagkakaroon ng cancer at a very early age no 32 years old stage 4 cancer no so uh, napakahirap ho no na nakikita namin na ganito na maamatay sila and look at the expenses no ah uh, ito po in no 2015 how much more at the, if you look at it by this time no mas mataas na po ang expenses but nung 2015 Just from the four diseases, no. Tignan yun naman ang burden, economic burden. Ah, ang dam, ang laki po ng ng. Eto ay eto eto pong ah eto pong computation nito is just based from what the government no has shelled out no dito sa apat na ano na sakit na ito. This is looking at feel health no ah na ah expenditures no para sa apat na sakit. Therefore, it all also means these are all underestimates, no? So, doon noon 2015, we have a total of 210 billion pesos na losses, no? Because of these four tobacco-related diseases. Ang alam ho niyo kung magkano ho ang revenue at this particular time ng 2015 from tobacco, 100 billion pesos lang po. Therefore, yung kinikita ho natin is not even enough para ho masustentuhan yung uh, mga sakit na ito. At ito apat lang po, no? So, eh napakadami pong sakit dahil po sa paninigarilyo, no? So, uh, so that is why lahat to kami concerned with ito, especially now, no, na universal health care. Alam mo natin, uh, gusto ho natin na uh, mas siguro ho na lahat to ng mga magkakasakit ay ma masusustentuhan ng ating gobyerno. Pero kung napakalaki po yung gastos, then I don't think that it will actually suffice, no, yung whatever resources that we have no for for uh, all the diseases so now we are seeing no more than uh, what we have no we still have the epidemic on tobacco but we are now seeing a rapidly changing landscape with e-cigarettes and other nicotine delivery devices that have now uh, rampantly spread no in the country So we now have a new epidemic and that is the vaping epidemic and when we talk about vaping or sabihin na natin not just vaping ano but all the uh, oh, ito pong as a whole no these are called electronic smoking devices so marami po yan so we have sinasabi nila may e-cigarettes that contain nicotine so meron e-cigarettes Cigarettes na walang nicotine at meron ho yung tinatawag na heated tobacco products. Ito po yung madalas na nila na pin, uh, ina pinopromote ngayon ano ng lalo na ho ng uh, Philip Morris no kasi po uh, yan ho yung produkto nila at sinasabi na nila no that they want to get rid of of uh, they want to get rid of smoking. They want to have a smoke-free environment. Nakakatawa lang ho sila because uh, how can how can they say that they want to get rid of a smoking environment when they are still selling something that also emits smoke no so uh, uh, this is uh, marami hong fallacy that is actually being spread by the tobacco companies now this is just to show you kasi lagi ho nilang sinasabi no na malaki ang difference daw ng sigarilyo at saka nitong mga heated tobacco products at ng mga e-cigarettes no uh, so i'd like to show this to you kasi para mas maintindihan no natin yung combustible the standard the conventional uh, cigarette or any tobacco products no Sisindihan po ninyo yan doon sa sindidong portion, yan po ang tawag ko dyan ay combustion zone. But uh, it, 
at least in the combustion zone po, may temperature po yan that ranges mataas sa mataas po, 700 to 950 degrees centigrade. No? That is why, you know, isipin nyo na lang, if the temperature doon, galing doon sa, com sa combustion zone na yan, remains to be the same, hindi ho yan may hit-hit ng mga smoker. Kasi matiyak, masusunog ho. No? Doon sa temperature na ito, sunog ho ang lalamunan, ang bibig. No? So hindi ho yan. Ang natural occurrence, you can see, you can expect, no? itong temperature na ito na 750 to 950 degrees centigrade is going to go down. Uh, so it can go down to as low as 200 degrees centigrade. So dito, nandito yung distillation zone. And in this distillation zone, dyan po, uh, you can expect, no, yung... Um, uh, thermal decompensation as a pyrolysis to occur no uh, and in this part ng uh, cigarette uh, uh, dito yung um, where you can expect majority of the smoke toxicants no to be generated here so lahat ho ng mga toxic chemicals dito po natin ma-expect na uh, ma-generate and then uh, if you the temperature actually goes down to as low as 350 degrees then you can expect condensation of the less volatile compounds so which is actually at the area uh, immediately beside the distillation zone so diyan magko-condensate yung mga less volatile compounds na kung saan mag-generate naman nung dense aerosol yung also no that will consist of mga droplets and solid particles. So lahat po diyan sa condensation na yan, no, diyan sa uso para siyang lalanghapin ng isang uh, smoker, no? Ah, uh, nandiyan po ngayon lahat na ng mga chemicals that includes even uh, those chemicals in the gaseous states, pati na rin po yung mga uh, uh, iba't ibang particle, no? Part solid particles that include heavy metals okay so meron po yan yan po and how many of these uh, chemicals no there are 7000 chemicals that are being inhaled by uh, by a smoker through the what we call the mainstream smoke but yun kung lumalabas din po sa usok ng sigarilyo no yun doon sa nakasindi ang tawag ko diyan ay side stream smoke there are also 7000 chemicals that are being emitted so Yan po yung mainstream smoke. Pag nilabas ho natin yan, yan din ho yung kakalat. At that will be what we call, no, kung naruroon ka, then that is exposure to secondhand smoke. Now, what is the difference with a heated tobacco products? No, sa sinasabi nila, hindi daw ho sinisindihan. Yes, that is true. Because what is happening, iniinit lang ho siya. No? Heat, it is being heat. And the temperature will range from 250 degrees to about 350 degrees centigrade. So, therefore, at this particular temperature, you can expect, no, lahat ng chemical doon sa tobacco, sa tobacco, sa sigarilyo, because with heated tobacco products, they make use still of a cigarette stick. Man, manipis lang po siya. No, very slim na siya pong ipapasok ninyo doon sa device ng heated tobacco products. And therefore, all the chemicals, hinihit lang ho yan. No? Hindi nga lang biniburn but hinihit so that all the chemicals, you are now generating it through heating. So, diyan po, mag, mas malalanghap nyo pa rin mga toxicants no? and mga uh, lahat po ng mga chemicals including solid particles no? na lalanghap nyo pa rin. Okay, so that's, uh, is there any difference really between a uh, combustible tobacco cigarette and a heated tobacco products? Wala. No? The only difference lang ay sinindihan mo yung isa but just as I say, sa sigarilyo, hindi naman kailangan yung sindido ang doon ka mag, uh, ano eh, maglalanghap, di ba? So, what you need is just mag-decrease mag yung temperature and now you will ha be able to inhale all the chemicals including the nicotine no, that is responsible for the addiction when you smoke.
So this is the same with e-cigarette, no? So hindi hit lang din ho. The difference with e-cigarette, hindi ho gumagamit ng tobacco product, but they have e-liquids, yung e-juice, and in that e-juice, nandiyan po mga iba't ibang chemicals, including the chemicals that you, that is being used to give flavor. No, doon sa lalanghapin ng isang uh, user ng uh, mga e-cigarettes na ito. Included din po doon sa uh, chem yung chemical included in the e-liquid is your nicotine. Okay, so yun ho yung ano. And these are on the middle of the slides, you will be able to see the different generations of your Uh, electronic smoking devices no of course yung fourth generation yan po ang pinaka popular ngayon especially for the young ones no they have uh, pre-filled merong refillable no iba't ibang klase po yan but what is important i'd like to direct your attention to the one on the right side of the slide So these are the studies that in the US, Australia and UK. What is very important is in the study in the US and in Australia na looking at uh, the uh, looking at the at uh, the e-liquids that says na wala daw ho silang nicotine, no? You can see that Um, a big percent of the, of the samples that were tested is still contain nicotine and then in the UK tiningnan naman kung ano yung uh, kung kung uh, what is the doon sa mga e-liquids na yan and they found that 46 of the 50 e-liquids had nicotine in excess no of the labeled value so ano po ang message natin dito? No? Well, our message here is that you cannot trust what you see on the labels of these electronic smoking devices. Maaring sabihin nila walang nicotine but in the end, meron pa rin hong nicotine as shown in the studies in the US and Australia. Maaring sabihin nilang 3% nicot nicotine concentration lang yan but then or 3 mg percent pero sa study ng UK they have noted that mas madalas mataas ang content no ng nicotine than what is seen on the label. So definitely no uh, kung ano man ang sabihin diyan sa label please do not trust what you see on the labels immediately because they usually may not be true. Now, uh, what about the chemicals? No, uh, these are just uh, a few example of chemicals that we see in in a conventional cigarette. No, so and these are the chemicals that have been found. No, in uh, so various studies. No, in uh, cigarette smoke. So, iisipin niyo yung bang mga chemical na ito na nakita sa usok ng sigarilyo. Parehas din ba sila sa chemical? Parehas din ba silang chemical na makikita? O makikita ba rin sila doon sa usok gawa ng mga vape pen na yan o ng mga e-cigarette na yan? No? Yung usok gawa ng mga e-cigarette na yan. Let us see. Diba? So pinakita ko sa pag-aaral na ito na lahat ho parehas din ano ko ano nakita doon sa standard na sigarilyo yun din po ang chemical na nakita doon sa usok no galing sa e-cigarette and the vape pen no and uh, worse no uh, sa pag-aaral pa rin po ng USFDA no so may ito po yung mga dilaw no kasama ho diyan yung Tin, mapapansin nun niyo, pati yung mga uh, tobacco-specific nitrosamines like your NNN, NHK, and AB, and AT, no, ethylbentrin, uh, yung mga yan, no, so, uh, which are proven to be an uh, agent no, that can cause cancer. Kasama po yung mga benzene, no, ethylbenzene, alam mo naman niyo yung mga benzines na yan, pati na rin po yung mga iba, no. Uh, pati po formaldehyde, acetaldehyde, lahat po yan ha, are known to cause cancer. So definitely uh, makikita ko ninyo these are in the list, established list of harmful and potential, potentially harmful substances no, doon sa FD, US FDA. Now, ito naman po, pinapakita ko lang po ang pag-aaral na ginawa ko ni Kim no, sa published sa Journal of Chromatography. So, 
looking at a uh, tobacco specific nitrosamines. Bakit to tobacco specific nitrosamines? Because these are known to cause cancers. At makikita ho ninyo, doon ho sa pinag-aralan na 105 na liquid sa uh, ng mga e-cigarettes na ito o mga vape pen aerosols, makikita ho ninyo lahat ho sila may nakitang levels of uh, tobacco specific nitrosamines therefore iba-iba uh, lang ang concentration iba-iba may mataas mayroong mababa but still kahit mababa po yan as long as naglalanghap ko kayo ng isang chemical that can cause cancer then you are at risk of developing uh, cancers later on Okay, now another fact na uh, this is a study of Becky et al. Uh, kasi sinasabi ko kadalasan ang, ang chemical lang daw na madalas na, uh, na naroon sa mga e-liquids ay ang glycerin which, which is uh, your vegetable glycerin saka propylene glycol. Yung glycerol responsible para doon sa usok na nakikita niyo And you know, I think you can see in the vape shops, meron silang pa contest kung paggawaan ng kung ano-anong shape ng mga usok. Therefore, mas mas kung gusto mo na maraming usok, makakagawa ka ng mas ng mga iba't ibang uh, forma, no? Then you need to have uh, more uh, glycerin. But lo and behold, kapag itong pong e-liquids na ito is heated by the nichromoire or the heating elements no doon sa uh, sa mga e-cigarettes na ito itong glycerol glycerin na ito itong glycerol is transformed into acrolyne no so the acrolyne initially is na, will not be found in the e-liquids but because of the contact of the e-liquid with the heated nichromoire there is formation of another chemical that can cause cancer because acrolyne is proven to cause cancer. Ganon din po sa propylene glycol, no, responsible for the heat, for the throat heat at saka intensity ng flavor. Siyempre, kung gusto mo na mas ma maganda ang mas malasahan yung intensity ng flavor na nilagay mo doon sa e-cigarette, then you would probably be putting in more propylene glycol. But when this e-liquid that contains propylene glycol comes into contact with the heating element of the electronic smoking devices, uh, it forms formaldehyde and acetaldehyde. Formaldehyde and acetaldehyde are two proven Uh, agents that can cause cancer. So now, dito pa lang, no? not present really in the e-liquid but are being generated because of contact of the e-liquid from the heating element. So, nagkakaroon ng additional ke uh, chemicals that are being formed no? causing a lot of problems. No? And since Dagdag na naman mo ito no doon sa mga ano natin then therefore uh, just your uh, con if you continue to to use your electronic smoking devices then you are at higher risk of developing cancer. It's a matter of time, I tell you. Parehas lang po yan ng sigarilyo. Dati sinasabi nila wala. Pero nakita ho natin after many years, saka ho yan uh, bumulagta sa atin, meron na pwede kang magkaroon ng cancer because of tobacco use. So that is why, no, madalas sasabihin mo ng mga, uh, mga manufacturer ng mga electronic smoking devices na ito that included your heated tobacco products, uh, they are a form of tobacco harm reduction. So ang sinasabi nila, less harmful tobacco harm reduction. So tignan nga natin, is it really less harmful or imbis na less harmful, baka mas increased harm. Okay, so tignan natin, or equally harmful, okay, kung hindi increased harm. Okay, so ano yun natin? Uh, in the US, no, uh, in from 20... So in 2020, no, February 18, nagpalaga sila ng mahigit 2,800 that were hospitalized, no, and 68 died from what they term as the e-cigarette or vape-associated acute lung injury. So, marami ang namatay. So, matatawag ka ba ho nating less harmful? Eh, marami na ang namatay because of the use of electronic smoking devices. How can you say 
not less harmful when there are when there are so many deaths no that we have seen because of the use of these electronic smoking devices na nahinto ho yung pag ano pero look noong Feb, noong April of 2022 meron na naman no and uh, a man actually died no and uh, the autopsy of this man found that the result the most likely uh, result no of the death the result the the uh, cause of the death is because of vaping so pinapakita again it is not less harmful kasi namamatay ang mga tao because of vaping Okay now this uh in this uh study no from circulation no pinapakita naman ho dito just in 2022 no ito po yung uh, what uh what are the cardiopulmonary health effects no of the use of e-cigarettes and this study have shown na uh, there is increased sympathetic activation that will result in yung paninigas no ng mga uh, blood vessels pati dysfunction of the endothelium which is the line which is the inner lining po ng uh, mga blood vessels natin and these all of these uh, changes are associated with adverse cardiovascular uh, events and therefore uh, this highlights the fact that uh, you know by by um that uh hindi ho siya ordinary no na hindi ho siya yung walang epekto because you know ah uh, ito po nakikita natin that it can cause a lot of problems also that can cause later on coronary artery disease and then another one no this is another uh, uh on the vascular endothelial function study no uh, looking into all forms of electronic smoking devices kahit na po yung may tin meron sila ngayon tinitingnan ano na elect na tawag nila ultrasonic vaping device na wala daw heated wala daw uh, heating coil kasi di ba doon sa pag-aaral doon sa pag hinit mo doon sa coil no yung e-liquids it can cause uh, formation of this cancer yes so nag titingin sila nung walang heating so, without the heating coil they all cause impairment of vascular flow so the implication no even the single exposure doon sa usok ng all forms of electronic smoking devices it can cause uh, impairment of the endothelial function ng blood vessels comparable to cigarettes which highlights that vaping is really not a harmless activity Now, uh, this is actually just to show you bakit ko kami mas siya electronic smoking devices. Because, you know, uh, globally, nakita ko natin ang number ng mga uh, gumagamit ng mga e-cigarettes electronic smoking devices uh, increases exponentially. And then, among all those who are using the primary, ang unang-unang pinakamaraming nakita ko natin gumagamit ay sa mga kabataan. Now, uh, dito ho sa Philippine data, dito ho makikita ho ninyo. On your left, makikita ho ninyo, only 2.1% lang po ng mga uh, adults no, na age 15 years and older. So, yung mga medyo matatanda, 2.1% lang po ang prevalence ng uh, paggamit ng vape no, ayon sa Global Adult Tobacco Survey noong 2021. But doon sa Global Youth Tobacco Survey, ano 2019 ho ito, this is, um, this is uh, uh, the Global Youth Tobacco Survey, uh, since noong 2021, uh, you have a very much higher prevalence of use of vape in the 13 to 15 years old, no 14.1%. Therefore, uh, look at this, uh, bata ho ang mas guma mas marami ang nag-uumpisang gumamit ng e-cigarette. So, we have to, with all the data that we have actually shown regarding the impact of the use of electronic smoking devices, and we have to really work. And they are exposed already to the nicotine addiction at a very early age. Kaya ho, mas lalo kaming nag-worry. And then, doon sa National Nutrition Survey, ang nakita pa ko, 44% ko nang gumagamit na, ng mga electronic smoking devices na ito are non-smokers. So, 
Matalas, ma maririnig natin, they are offering daw the e-cigarettes, this is electronic smoking devices, as an alternative sa paninigabilyo. But how can they be alternative when these are actually being used already uh, among those who are non-smokers? Therefore, it is not true that vaping is being offered as an alternative to smoking because ang talagang ano nila ay just like with uh, cigarette smoking, no? Ang, ang talagang puntirya ng mga marketing strategy ay yung mga kabataan because they know that when this young one all center ng brain nila, they are more likely to be lured into the nicotine addiction and once nag-umpisa ko yan, then they continue now to to smoke and many of them no uh, hindi ho masyadong masisiyahan ho diyan sa pagbebit eventually will shift also to uh, to cigarette no smoking so eto ho ba ay form of harm reduction o sabihin nating less harm hindi po di ba rather this is really increased harm increased harm kasi hindi nga naninigarilyo so dapat wala nga exposure to any risk no pero dahil nag-umpisa sa uh, isa with vaping no and we know that we in vapes maraming chemicals then na, na mae expose yung bata and therefore that is not harm reduction sa mga pag-aaral na ito no makikita natin even in the US no nakita ho ninyo nag nag isig 11%. So, mas mataas pa ho yun sa atin na 14.1%. Kung sa bagay, mas medyo uh, luma itong uh, survey na ito na ginawa sa America. 11%, hindi na ni Nigarilio. 59% sa mga nagagamit ng electronic smoking devices continues to smoke. So, ganun po. Kung titignan mo, 11, hindi nagsisigarilyo. Yung yung isa, bukod sa e-cigarette, nagsisigarilyo pa rin. Is that a form of harm reduction, ladies and gentlemen? That is not less harm, that is increased harm. So ano ho ang ano natin dito? That is why kami po, kami po sa Philippine College of Physicians, Philippine College of Chest Physicians, uh, ang advice ho natin dito is for us, na iengganyo ho natin ang mga kababayan natin na naninigarilyo o gumagamit ng electronic smoking devices to stop. Let us uh, help them to quit smoking and vaping. Sabi nga, ito, ito ho ang message din namin sa mga kapwa ho namin, mga health professionals. There is nothing more powerful you can do for your patients who smoke than help them quit. Pa isama na ho natin who smoke and vape uh, let us help them to quit. Now, sinasabi nila, uh, vaping for to help smokers quit. Tara, dalasan ho, no? Most adult who who use uh, electronic smoking de devices, they do not stop smoking cigarettes, but end up using both products. And therefore, sabi ko nga, instead of increased, uh, instead of less harm, it is really more of increased harm. And a study on the effect of real world end user, no, on the population quit rates sa America have shown that um that uh the adjusted ads of quitting smoking were actually lower than those who use ends at the baseline. So mas marami po yung talagang huminto ka na lang ng paninigarilyo, mas marami ang nakapag-quit compared doon sa uh, nag-shift sa electronic smoking devices. no? So, 9.4% lang ang nakahinto using your electronic smoking devices. 18.9% for those who just stop not using any the electronic smoking devices. So, and then among Ital another study among Italian e-cigarette users, um, those uh, who who we start smoking after using e-cigarettes outnumber those who stop after using e-cigarettes. Therefore, all this data will show to us that uh, yung vaping as a, as a means of helping smokers to quit is really not uh, that effective. No, What is more effective is really just to help them stop smoking. So, uh, wag na ho natin yung dayain ang sarili natin uh, o, o kaya lokohin ang ating mga sarili. Ang pagsiswitch ho ng from 
uh, cigarillo to vaping, hindi po yan form of quitting. No, that is, is still perpetuating the addiction. And the way you perpetuate the addiction, hindi lang po yung in, in form of uh, sabi mo walang nicotine, but alam mo yung practice mo on the behavior of putting something in your mouth, that is that perpetuates the bad behavior, the risky behavior. Kaya uh, let us not just, you know, switch. Let's see, stop smoking. And then for everyone, makikita ho ninyo, uh, kailangan huminto na ho tayo habang maaga pa. And you'll see here in this uh, figure na habang patagal ng patagal ang paghinto mo, mas marami ang beneficyo na makukuha mo. No? So gumaganda uh, the moment, no? within 20 minutes, maganda na kaagad ang ang pakiramdam mo no and you see after mga uh, after a few months no uh, mas nagre-return na ang lahat ng mga uh, magagandang function no ng ating um ng ating uh, system particularly that of the respiratory system no after five years mapapansin niyo na ang risk na magkaroon ng atake sa puso is no? is uh, reduced to half after 10 years mas ang risk na magkaroon ng atake sa puso ay equivalent na sa mga hindi uh, nagsigarilyo no and then after 15 years no ang ang risk talaga na magkaroon ng problema no ay mas uh, mal, mas maliit no so quit now it's never too it's never too early and it's never too late to quit so remember the longer you quit the bigger is the benefit so harm reduction in vaping is this definitely it's a it's a myth vaping is equally dangerous as smoking no? So this is from different studies, no? And uh, I'd like to end this uh, discussion no, with this. Matagal na hong ginagawa talaga ng, ng mga tobacco companies. Sasabihin ho nila ay uh, meron ho silang mga ways of lessening the harm, di ba? Uh, dati, sinabi nila uh, ang, ang lower tar mas less harmful and we know for a fact na hindi. Sinabi nila yung light cigarettes are less harmful. Uh, alam na ho natin it's not also true. So, uh, uh, kailang, marami ho sila. These are all just marketing strategy. And right now, sabi naman ng Philip Morris, ayo gusto nilang ipromote smoke-free environment. Kaya nagpo-promote ho sila ng heated tobacco products nila as a safer and healthier. Please, uh, where is the evidence na safe and healthier ang, ang electronic smoke, ang heated tobacco products. There is, uh, tandaan ho ninyo, ito po ay, itong heated tobacco products, hindi nga rin ho sila i-cigarettes, eh, no? These are really tobacco products. Therefore, ang reduced claim nila, na-reject na ho yan in the UK and US. So, wag ho tayong magpa, magpa-loko, no? Doon sa marketing strategy ng tobacco companies. So, thank you very much for listening. Okay, thank you, Dr. Relimpin. Thank you for that very comprehensive and informative lecture on the twin epidemic that is nga, smoking and vaping. So indeed, uh, thank you for shedding the light on indeed vaping is still harmful for our health. It doesn't reduce smoking. Rather, parang continuous pa rin tayo na, na e effect ng bad effects ng smoking. So now we go into the Q&A portion of this um uh, health forum. So actually, I have seen may mga questions na sa Q&A chat box and sa uh, chat uh, comment section sa Zoom. So again, for everyone who is watching, you can still type your questions in our Q&A chat box sa Zoom or sa comment section sa YouTube or sa Facebook Live natin that is going on right now. So Doctor, let's start. Meron ng med medyo few questions na tayo. No? I think you already stated this, Doctor, pero siguro review na lang na um, among those, but you've already stated yung percentage of people who use tobacco um 
And then you have stated Ren, na what they want to know is there also a decreasing trend of users na who use vaping due to the no smoking policy or pa increase yung trend yung mga who use the heated uh, tobacco products and vaping products. Dun yeah. Sa um, yes. Uh, so sa sa Sigarilio, we can see the decreasing trend pa baba. Pero sa electronic smoking devices, we are seeing an increase. Eh, yung pinakita ko lalo na sa mga kabataan na 14.1%. Yes. No? Uh, previously, yung, yung sa data ng, uh, sa mga kabataan, uh, nasa 11% yan. No? So ngayon, naging 14%. So we are seeing actually an increasing trend sa mga kabataan. And that is why we are more worried no because we know that the mga kabataan ito eventually sila yung magiging regular users because they are they will be hooked to the addiction no so it's not just yung use of vape but yung addiction na uh, that goes with it marami kasing klase no uh, therefore uh, maram we can expect na habang tumatagal no they will continue to use these e-cigarettes and when they become an unsatisfied no doon sa paggamit ng electronic smoking devices uh, the same the, the same way na nakita natin sa America and in the Europe eh, uh, we have seen them shifting from electronic smoking devices to uh, regular cigarettes so so this is actually parang nag-initiate lang sa e-cigarette and then pumupunta sa sigarilyo so, yun nga po ang alarming is the younger generation yung na-affect ngayon po. And kasi they're more influ na nai-influence sila mas maaga ngayon. So, I think education is key talaga to promote nga na we should stop smoking and vaping. So, Dr. from Ma'am Sylvia de la Paz, there's a question. Are there moves by the Philippine College of Physicians to draft laws towards sanction for selling or uh, using smoking and vaping products, how do we help as concerned citizens? Yeah, actually, no, na, uh, nakikita namin na marami ang parang pa, pa, palasak ang pagbebenta ng mga uh, electronic smoking devices, lalo na sa online, no? And in fact, di ba, nagmamashroom yung mga vape shops, no? So, yes. the, uh, that is actually an indicator na talagang tumataas ang users ng mga electronic smoking devices na ito. And of course, as physicians, we are worried because we are now seeing ano yung mga immediate effects na nakikita. No? So, uh, so um, gusto natin gumagawa ng paraan. No? So, probably, actually, uh, we are, we would like to make a move na habang maaga pa, we let us nip it in the bud. No? So, uh, maybe it's high time to have uh, a, a stricter regulation no kasi yung regulatory pra, yung regulatory uh, process natin ngayon is very very lax no yung batas na meron tayo very lax so we would like a stricter regulation if not a stricter regulation then ideally is to complete to have a complete uh, ban of electronic smoking devices Thank you, Doctor. And um, Ma'am Celia de la Paz has also said um, perhaps yung PCP can also work with yung pediatric society since nga younger generation yung um, are mostly affected now by vaping. So thank yeah, you. Kat, just to inform yes. uh, Ma'am uh, Ma Silvia, no? Uh, yes. Yes, uh, we are working with the Philippine Pediatric Society because we are one with them on this. Uh, ayo natin na mas dumami pa mga bata na na, na nag-uumpisa yes, no. ng mga e-cigarettes na ito. So it's a multi-specialty po talaga. It's not just us yung lung specialists, but as well as pedia, I am, everyone should be involved in uh, help reduce smoking. So, Dr. Ria, mayroon pang few questions sa Q&A chat box naman, Doc. So, our, um, just to review again, ano ba yung mga important health hazards and conditions associated with vaping from recent studies so that they could be well-informed, yung audience natin? Yeah, uh, so, right now, alam na natin, ano, like katulad nung uh, mga ano natin, no, sa mga studies, sa papakita yung 
epekto doon sa mga blood vessels no so sa ngayon hindi pa ho natin masyadong nakikita ang direct association ng pagbebait at ng cardiac diseases but since may mga uh, mga pag-aaral na ngayon na nagpapakita na parehas ang nakikitang epekto sa paninigarilyo at sa vape therefore we we actually can can expect no that the risk will be the same sa pagkakaroon ng atake sa puso atake sa utak no so these are all going to happen and eventually basta burgers disease no uh, it's just a matter of time But we cannot wait no, na marami ang magkasakit bago tayo kumilos because these are already starting to show. Parehas lang yan ng sigarilyo dati, ay, wala pa namang nakikita. Pero ngayon, alam na natin ang epekto. So are we going to just wait and do nothing? Siyempre, hindi. As physicians, we cannot do that. Uh, sa COPD, ang risk din na magkaroon ng COPD ay napakataas din. Uh, two times, three times, six times likely. no So, ganun ka kada kataas ang 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 uh, likelihood na magkakaroon ka ng chronic obstructive lung disease and these are actually from uh, three may population based study merong uh, uh, cross sectional study no na nagpapakita ko na ang pagbebebe compared sa hindi nagbebebe no two times higher ang possibility na magkaroon ka ng COPD compared doon sa hindi nagbebebe Okay, thank you, Doctor. So, yun nga, madami. Ganun rin. As we, what we see with smoking, ganun rin with vaping. Has the same, almost the same, baka nga more effects, harmful effects. So, Doctor, um, other questions is, I think I can um, combine. Um, di ba, we already talked about yung mga uh, short-term effects. Meron ba daw ng mga long-term effects na associated with vaping on the recent studies or e-cigarettes po? Well, okay. Uh, ngayon, di ba, uh, yung sinabi ko, long, is a long-term effect. no? Chronic obstructive lung disease yes. is a long-term effect. Ang stroke is a long-term effect. Mm-hmm. Ang coronary artery, artery disease is a, is a long-term effect. Ang short-term effect, nakikita na namin ngayon, may merong uh, umupunta na amin, isang taon pa lang na gumagamit ng electronic smoking devices, no? nahirapan na silang huminga. Mm-hmm. So, uh, at It, it takes them a long time ah, bago medyo maka-recover doon sa hirap ng paghinga kahit na, na naghinto sila ng paggamit ng, ng mga vaping. But ah, dahil sa medyo maaga pa, isang taon no, nakikita namin basta pag huminto, no within four months five months no um gumaganda ang pakiramdam no ang paghinga nila so very important no habang maaga pa para sa ating mga kapwa manggagawa no sa kalusugan uh, pag meron hong nagpresent sa inyo na nahirapan huminga tanungin ho ninyo hindi lang ang paninigarilyo kundi pati paggamit ng electronic smoking devices kasi kung hindi natin tatanungin ito then hindi natin ma-identify kung ano ang nagiging dahilan ng hirap ng paghinga so part rin dapat ng social history yung vaping history na rin doktor ano so yes, may right. isa pang yes doktor so isa pang question doc with regards yung second hand smoke daw uh, from vaping ano yung mga effects po nung second hand smoke in terms of yung vaping mismo is it the same as smoking rin or meron pa bang additional that we would see from vaping Mm-mm. Well, yung pinakita ko sa inyo, yung usok sa sigarilyo, no? yung mga chemicals, parehas lang din na identify din uh, yung mga chemicals na yan doon sa usok sa mga electronic smoking devices. Therefore, we can expect na kung maraming namamatay sa exposure to secondhand smoke, we can also expect marami din yung mamamatay sa exposure sa uh, sa usok galing sa mga electronic smoking devices no so ano-ano ang pwedeng maging sakit katulad din sa exposure sa second hand smoke no pwedeng magkaroon ka ng cancer particularly lung cancer pwede ka magkaroon ng atake sa puso at pwede ka rin magkaroon ng atake sa utak the all of these no are found in the smoke that is being generated diyan sa mga electronic smoking devices na yan. 
Thank you, Dr. So, uh, comment from Ma'am Corazon Rosario. Thank you for this relevant lecture. This is not a question but a comment, right? Vaping is common among the young ones, even in the rural area where I live. I am a retired government doctor. Uh, maybe ca I can reach out to parents via lecture like this in Barangay Gather Gatherings. It's an activity I have in mind, but logistics is not easy. Yes. So, madami rin sabi, uh, thank you for this lecture, Dr. Right? It's really spreading a light on uh, yun nga, the twin epidemic na smoking and vaping. So, Dr. Uh, before we go, is there um, your last me message or take-home message for uh, the, our audience who are watching, our PCP fellows and the general viewers and our media partners who are watching now? Yes, uh, siguro po, isa lang po ang aking uh, message, no? ang mensahe. Um, number, um, dalawa pala, dalawa ang mensahe. Number one, ho, ang, ang vaping po ay equally dangerous, equally harmful as smoking. Yan yung una. Pangalawa, wag po tayong basta maniniwala sa marketing strategy ng tobacco and vaping industry. Sasabihin nun nila less harmful sila, but there are no evidence that they can show, no? not even a single evidence that can show na mas less harmful sila. Um, yun hong ibang pinapakita nila na sasabihin nila ang conclusion is less harmful. Hindi nga, hindi nga ho nila pwedeng anuhin yun, gawin na conclusion because the study have not shown that. So, uh, there is a problem with the way they concluded their studies. no. So, I think uh, we have to to be more uh, vigilant no and uh stricter in just you know in the way we look at the evidence kailangan makita ho natin talaga na maganda ang pagkakagawa ng study nila no bago tayo maniwala uh, it the history will show they have often already used the harm reduction strategy even before they are still using it now mula hong pagbabago but the problem is up to now wala hong evidence no so let us not be fooled by all this marketing strategy let us be smart wag na lang ho tayo magsigarilyo wag na lang ho tayo magfake that's the best we can do okay thank you dr alimpin for your for your time your expertise again as she has stated in this lecture all the evidence she has stated that it, vaping is as equally as dangerous as smoking. Daming nating evidence na uh, natutunan and yun nga, education and spreading yung awareness is key to stopping this twin epidemic. So with that, in behalf of the PCP and the viewers, Dr. I would like to Thank you again for your time, your expertise, despite your busy schedule, alam ko, Doctora, and giving us your insights and expertise on this matter. So before we go, um, may I now welcome our last but certainly not least speaker po to give us our closing message. She is the current um, president of the Philippine College of Chess Physicians. I would like to welcome Dr. Aileen Aniceto to give us a closing remarks or closing message for this relevant health forum. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? I'm not sure if I yes, can. Yes, Doc, we can heard. hear you. Bo. Yes. Okay. So, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me to be to be part of this uh, uh, advocacy. So, um, first, I'd like to thank Maricar and his team colleague for delivering a very informative lecture on the det detrimental effects of smoking and vaping. So I hope that this presentation has not only provided our audience with valuable insights, but also ignited a spark of awareness among each one of us. So I'm Philippine College of Chest Physicians, of which our speaker is also a very active member, we've always been very active in advocacy for lung health. Yung saying na an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure has never been truer 
for lung health. So our priorities include advocacies against smoking, vaping, air pollution, climate change. Anything that fouls up the air we breathe will affect our lungs, cause diseases, and worsen, uh, worsen existing lung conditions. So please remember, dear audience, that um, your health is your most precious asset. So the harmful consequences of smoking and vaping are not merely statistics, but real life stories of individuals impacted by these habits. And the effects go beyond the individual's health as shown by the statistics of Dr. Limpin. They also involve the health of the people around us. So let us be advocates for health. The message conveyed here is a reminder that by saying no to smoking and vaping, we are saying yes to a healthier and happier future. So the ripple effect of your choices extends beyond yourselves to your families, friends, and communities. So moving forward, let's support one another in making positive life, uh, lifestyle changes and encouraging those who might be struggling to break free of these harmful habits. Um, if, any, if you or any of your friends or family need help quitting, uh, we do have the only quit line in the country, the DOH LCP quit line, just remember to call the toll-free number 1558. So once again, thank you, Marit Carr, for shedding light on this critical topic. And thank you, PCP, for uh, putting this at the forefront of your advocacies. Let us all carry the torch of awareness forward and continue to educate ourselves and others about the importance of making choices that nurture our well-being. So together, we can build a healthier and happier future not only for ourselves, but for the generations to come. So thank you, everyone, for listening. Thank you, Dr. Aniseta, for your warm closing message. Again, uh, say no to smoking equals a way to a better and healthier lung and uh, body. So uh, before we go... Um, may we have we have certain announcements from PCP uh, for our upcoming activities, no? So for um our I am Health Forum relaunch, okay, will be a uh, move to September 27, 2023. It will still be at the Victorino's restaurant in 10 a.m. So this um I am health forum relaunch. As the PCP experts, authority sa kalusugan, this will be with in collaboration with our media partners. So hopefully, I can uh, we can see you then on September 27 at Victorino's Restaurant at the 11th Jamboree de Leman, Quezon City. And for the upcoming uh, Radio Veritas, um, this coming Saturday is about uh, fad diets. Naman, no? So you can watch this in our... PCP, FB Live, or yung Radio Veritas program, okay? So again, thank you all for watching regarding this very timely and relevant health topic, no? So indeed, quitting smoking and these other nicotine devices such as yung e-cigarettes and vaping greatly improves the health status and quality of life of one person as well as reduces the risk of smoking-related conditions such as yung cardiovascular, chronic obstructive pulmonary, diseases, respiratory infections, and even cancer. So the earlier that we stop, the earlier that we can see positive health benefits in our body that continues for years. So again, thank you all for attending our PCP Health Forum and staying with us despite us extending because it's a very timely and relevant topic. I would like to thank uh, the Philippine College of Chess Physicians again for collaborating with the PCP as well as Dr. Eileen Aniceto, Dr. Elimpin, and Dr. Masenda for joining us and spending time um, and giving their insights and expertise regarding smoking and vaping. So again, let's stop this twin epidemic, smoking and vaping. So have a healthy day and ingat. And till we see each other again on our next forum. Thank you. Thank you for everyone. The Philippine College of Physicians, through the Committee on Media Communication and Health Forum, 
wishes to thank its media partners, social media followers, and participants. See you again next time, here on the PCP Health Forum.